Hallelujah. Amen. I'm too glad that we're in 2024. Imagine. Oh, yes, sir. Woo! Hallelujah! Yes, Lord! Woo! God is so good. Amen. All right. Let's go quickly in the book of John, chapter 1. The book of John, chapter 1, from verse 14. 14. And the Bible says, The Word became flesh. The Word became flesh. Heavenly Father, thank you. Glory to your name. Take your place, Lord. Establish your plans in the heart of your people. Let their life blossom. Yes, Lord. Blossom of your glory. We give you praise. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the Bible says. <clears throat> The word became flesh. And the word became flesh. And he said, it dwelled among us. It made his dwelling among us. The word of God made his dwelling among us. Ladies and gentlemen, I will just need your attention for the next few minutes because your understanding of the message shall give us the clarity for what is coming up on your life after this message. It will be a total shift that is coming up on your life. And it shall transform everything that is upon you. The Bible says that there was a man that was sent from God. His name was John the Baptist. His real name was John, but the Baptist was the calling that was attached to his name. So he was called John the Baptist because the calling was to baptize people and to bring them back to God, to repentance. By baptizing them, digging them in and out of the water. And he was called John the Baptist because he was anointed to baptize people. But the Bible says when Gabriel appeared to the father, whose name was Zechariah, he said, you shall call the name of the son John. John. Because he shall open the way, he shall be a voice that shall clear the way for the Messiah. But later on, when he started this purpose and his ministry, the Bible say there is something that came and joined John the Baptist. He was called the Baptist. Like some of you this year, there will be another name. Yeah. I you now see I have people. Amen. There will be another name that shall be touched to that name. It shall not be a name of sorrow, but it shall be a name of a heavenly blessing. Amen. And the Bible said John the Baptist started his work. But he had one testimony. He said, there is one who is coming is greater than I. He's called the Lamb of God. He said, through him, the sin of the world shall be blot out. For it's the Lamb that shall be crucified for the sins of the world. And the Bible said, after a few years of baptizing, suddenly there was the Messiah coming. The Messiah. He was coming and he stopped everything as John the Baptist. He stopped everything and he told his disciple, Behold, the Lamb of God is coming. The Messiah is coming. And the Bible said, as the Messiah, people thought maybe he's coming to preach, he's coming to bless the congregations. But he came and knelt down before John the Baptist. 
and he said please baptize me but john said no 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 i cannot do it because you are the one to do it over me because you came before i came you are here before i came in this world but jesus christ knelt down and said no 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 all righteousness should be done and the bible said john the baptist took jesus and baptized him and suddenly the bible said the heaven opened like what will take place amen, amen. the bible said heaven opened and while the heaven opened the bible said he saw the spirit coming on jesus for the first time in history a man receiving the spirit from the father coming straight on him it didn't mean that it came like the dove entering him no it just the spirit came in the form of the dove soft pure holy light like a dove and settled in the person of jesus christ are we together ladies and gentlemen the bible say gabriel appeared to mary and he said to mary he said mary you shall bear a son and you shall call him jesus he didn't say the christ he said jesus because he shall save the world from sin and from anything that is as evil and the bible said later on jesus christ was born from one year to 30 years of his life he was called the jesus but not the christ but until the day the spirit came upon him and the power of the almighty god came upon the jesus the bible say another name was added on top of the jesus it was called the jesus the christ john received the spirit and the power he was called john the baptist jesus received the spirit he was called the jesus the christ so that means john his papa was to baptize and jesus his purpose to make christ the bible says every man in the city they came to G to john the baptist because he was called the baptist isn't it and the bible says as they came they were baptized because that was his career that was his mandate that was his calling to baptize but when the bible say also the power and the spirit came upon jesus he was called the christ he's called the christ for what he's called the christ to make christ are, are you coming where i am if john was called john the baptist he was making people baptized so that they can be called baptized how many are baptized you are baptized right so you can say that i am baptized but you are baptized because there was a source of a man called john the baptist that was his calling that was his father manifestation that gave birth to the dimension of baptism but now there is the jesus as well he's called the christ not just for himself he's called the christ so that he can make the christ now are we in the same page so he's called the christ so that he can make the christ by what baptizing them also in the christ are you understanding now how could this be possible it is possible in first corinthians chapter 3 in king james chapter 3 from verse 23 this is powerful here yeah, this <laughs> first corinthians chapter 3 from verse 23 look at that the bible said what he are christ, christ. and, and christ, christ is god, god. okay there is a religious person here i want to bind that spirit now i'm just going to take you through the process to realize that you have been actually very ignorant of the jesus you have been confessing do you allow me 
The reason why we are having a Christian and the Christian people that they are very powerless and yet they are using the most powerful name that has been given to the universe. The Bible said there is no other name that is given to the human beings and to the human nature. That at the mention of that name, every, the Bible didn't say hundred, thousand, a million, a billion. But the Bible say, come on, answer me, the Bible say, the Bible said that every tongue and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The Bible said of things in heaven, of things in the earth, and things beneath the earth bows to the authority of this name. Hmm. Hey, Jehovah, please allow me. Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord. Hmm. It's coming on me first before coming on you. <laughs> Today, to Okolala. Now, now hear this. It's been for a while that we have been thinking of the name of Jesus Christ simply as a tool that we can use to cast out demons isn't it so that we can resist the fire of the enemy or to bind the enemy to rebuke demons and unclean spirits remember that one that cockroach is walking in your home you start binding it in the name of jesus any movement in your kitchen at midnight you start binding it you say they, they have come and i imbibe them in the name of jesus you understand what i mean now we have been using this name of jesus christ with the lack of understanding because we do not know the power behind the name because behind the name there is a personality there is a personality who has all power and authority and the bible said before him to go he made the prayer in john chapter 17 he said father i am going but i pray for them that you may keep them as you have kept them in the power of your name in the power of the name that you gave to me i pray for you that you may keep them that the world shall not consume them that the devil shall not destroy them i cover them in the power of your name i pray not that shall shoulders huh? i saw a pastor who was doing king james he said please change it to niv <laughs> please i don't want to be like that pastor <laughs> my prayer is not that you take them out of the world but that you protect them from the evil one they are not of the world even i as i am not of it but i pray for them that you may keep them in the power of your name that you have given me now ladies and gentlemen the bible says that in the name of jesus christ you shall cast out demons in the name of jesus you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover in the name of jesus christ you shall step up on the scorpions Sapons. and serpents and no evil shall come near you it is true and it is powerful it is happening and it is manifesting but before this to become a reality in your life there is a path that the lord desire you and i to tap on in this very day so that you can be powerful in this year 2024 and for the rest of your life now watch this there is a difference between to be anointed and to anoint okay there is a difference to be anointed and to anoint now the bible say that you shall receive the spirit and when the spirit shall come upon you then you shall be able to do the wonders and the miracle and the signs and miracles and the bible say in Acts chapter 10 verse 38 and the bible said jesus christ received the anointing of the spirit the anointing of the spirit ladies and gentlemen there is a time whereby you are anointed by the spirit and there is a time whereby you anoint the spirit (laughs) 
I told you, watch me clearly because I'll speak things that you need it. There is a time whereby you are anointed by the Spirit. And there is a time whereby you anoint the Spirit. The Bible says, Jesus, the Son of the living God, came. And he said, people who came before me, they were thief. What made them thief? They were anointed by oil and not by the Spirit. And the Bible said the Spirit will come only for a service and depart away from them. The Spirit did not dwell with them. It stayed for some time. But the Bible said for Jesus, the case was different. The Bible said he was anointed with the Spirit and the power of the Spirit. With the Spirit and the power of the Spirit. Then this takes us in the description of what is the anointing. The anointing is not oil. The anointing is a personality that you receive. Church, are you hearing me? The anointing is the personality that you receive. And what is the personality that you receive? Or who is the personality you receive? You receive the spirit from the father. Why? The Bible says, Joel, he said, in the last days, I shall pour. Oh my God. Come on, walk with me. I shall pour my spirits <laughs> upon all flesh. I've been speaking about flesh. Now I'm going deeper. I shall this is not an angel speaking this is not Gabriel this is not Michael I know Michael has multitude of angel under him I know Gabriel has multitude of angel but he said no Michael no Gabriel no Uriel no of the angel but myself I shall pour my spirit upon all flesh oh glory to God but this was not possible until it started with the son of God Jesus was anointed with the spirit and by the spirit and the anointing of the spirit okay so in another word the spirit entered Jesus because he had flesh because I shall pour my spirit upon all flesh so if Jesus came in the spirit, he was not going to receive the spirit. What qualified him to receive the spirit is what? The flesh, which you have. Amen. Oh, ask your neighbor, are you a spirit? Maybe, can I touch you? Let me touch you. So as long as they have a flesh, that is the license for 2024. Amen. That you shall marry. A spirit does not marry, but as long as you are flesh yes. and you are under the sound of my voice, oh, yes. I declare your companion is coming. I receive it. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Can a spirit be given a job? Can a spirit be given a car? No. The car is given to flesh. The house is given to flesh. Marriage is given to flesh. Money is given to flesh. Then I call it forth in your flesh. I receive it. Yes, sir. Now watch what is powerful here. He said, I shall pour my spirit upon all flesh. And the Bible said, Jesus was anointed by the Spirit and with the power of the Spirit. And the Bible said, He went everywhere doing good. Ah. <laughs> You know, people, you've encountered people that are telling you always do bad. You always do bad. Wait until this year. They're going to see you doing good. Yes, sir. I see a multitude of people that they are receiving these spirits today. I receive it. The reason why by you are continually, they were continually proclaiming you are doing bad because you are anointed with a spirit of badness. Which is close to fullness. <laughs> But when we change and we shift the manifestation of spirit, there is also a manif different manifestation of result. Can we swim now? 
now if the flesh is anointed by the spirit then how will the spirit be anointed because the spirit comes to cover the flesh mary mary behold the power of the almighty god shall over shadow you so in another one it will give you clothes to wear that's why adam and eve they were not seeing themselves naked because they were shadowed with the anointing <laughs> now if the spirit comes to clothe us then how will the spirit be anointed there is a time that the spirit gets to be anointed when the spirit get to be anointed when flesh comes to the spirit the spirit cannot operate in the place where there is no flesh so the moment flesh come to a spirit and covers the spirit the spirit will say i am now anointed because the flesh is covering me Am I, am, am I not? Now, you are Ken, right? But can I see your spirit? I can't, right? But because what? Because your flesh is covering the spirit. Now, the word covering, so that means your flesh is an anointing for the spirit. That's why when God is blessing you in the year 2024, you are covering actually the spirit. Yes, sir. Hey. Aye. when god is beautifying you in 2024 oh, yes. so that's when you are giving a testimony that i have a good god that is inside of me yes uh, i think i'm prophesying to someone else hey. when you shall enjoy 2024 hey. it is a testimony that there is a god inside of me covered in the flesh yes when I'm entering my latest and new house in this year, yes. in the next three months, oh, yes. it is a testimony that I'm saying yes. I have an anointing in my flesh covering the spirit. Amen. Oh my God. <laughs> so that's mean my look is the manifestation of the spirit inside. That means when I enjoy life, don't feel bad for me. Don't hate us. It's just the spirit you want this. Oh, yes. That's what the Bible says. God found pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Of men and women that have flesh. I have a spirit in me covered by the anointing of my flesh that's why I am called the temple <laughs> ask your neighbor you, you are the temple of who the Holy Spirit so in another way you are an anointing covering the spirit That's why the day you came to Christ, your beauty just shoot, shoot. It just boom. Instead of you growing old, you are just becoming younger, 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 younger. I, I think I'm prophesying to some people here. Prophet! Receive it in the name of Jesus. So in another word, God when he's inside of you he's finding pleasure because he's feeling i am under the roof it's covered by the flesh of someone called rachel it's covered she's covering me of someone called nadine it's covering me i found pleasure in the flesh of betty why it's covering my i'm, I'm covered why the bible say no one can see the face of god because the face of god is covered is the face of god is covered so that's mean you are the one actually covering the face 
and that's why when the bible says philip say show us the father show us. and jesus looked and he said don't you ever seen the father when you see me you have seen the father so that means there is a manifestation in me that represents the fullness of the deity oh god i told you i want us to swim in the deep then what happened and how could this be possible the bible say in john chapter 1 verse 12 john chapter 1 verse 12 the bible say yet to all again to all who did receive him 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 now we have the personality of the him okay to those that means there is a particular group the those who believed also in his name okay we have the him and we have his name okay he gave the rights to become to become children god. of god in actually in hebrew it's actually called becoming the god this word that's why in the book of psalm 45 the bible says, you have anointed me with the oil of gladness and you have made me above my colleague and then there is a place where god testified about his son he said now you are my son now you are my child and i'll become your father he said you are my son now you have become my child so in another one i have adopted you today to become my child so in another one god is standing to proclaim himself as a father as a covering as a source as a abba the beginning and the origin child of god hear this when he said that you shall become a child of god in the same way christ did not take on himself the glory of becoming high priest but god said to him you are my son today i have become your father are we together now how could this be possible the bible says, to whomsoever shall believe in him and shall believe in his name he has given he has given he has given the power to become children of god ladies and gentlemen you might have wondered for a long time what is it that's happened in the book of acts the bible said that they receive power in the book of acts chapter 1 verse 8 the bible said jesus said to them tarry ye in jerusalem tarry ye in jerusalem until you shall receive power from above but they were with jesus he gave them power the bible said they went all over they casted out demons they healed the sick they raised the dead but the bible said they lost the power like some people loses the power and they came more and they came again to ask for more power and jesus still gave them the power but the power was not sustainable in them until the day he appeared in john chapter 20 he said to them receive he the spirit and the bible said he breathed in them they received the spirit there was no shaking there was no scattering the spirit came easily and entered them but suddenly the bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2 as they gathered together and the bible says suddenly there was a sound glory to god there was a sound as a rushing mighty wing and suddenly the bible said power came upon them why because they tarried where in jerusalem to receive what power then what is the power that they have received 
the Bible says, <laughs> little children, which baptism have you received? Paul is asking the disciples in Acts chapter 19. He said, which baptism have you received? They say, oh, we received the baptism of John the Baptist. Paul wondered. He said, hey guys, that is an old style. We are in the new style. <laughs> and they say, why? What, what are you talking about? He said, let me show you the new style. And Paul asked them, then what? What baptism did you receive? Paul said, John the Baptist was a baptism, was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him. That is who? Now, watch what they were baptized into. Verse 5. And the Bible says, on hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm coming. What is it that happened? In another words, in the book of Acts chapter 2, when they received the fire, when they received the speaking of tongue, it was the baptism of the Christ entering them. In another word, it was not an unknown spirit, but it was the baptism of the very Christ that entered them. The Bible says, there is a better one coming. He shall baptize you in fire and you shall be on fire. Yes. And he sir. said, that person that shall baptize you in fire is called the Christ. How did I know? The Bible said there was three men thrown in the fire. And then when the king entered, he saw the fourth man. Yes. He was where? He in the fire. Oh. Any fire that the enemy has prepared. Yes. In this year 2024, yes. there is the Messiah. Yes. There is the Messiah. Oh, yes. There is the Messiah. Yes. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? The Bible said they removed the first man. They removed the second man. They removed the third man. But the fourth man remained. Do you know why he remained? Because he said, I'm waiting for other people that shall be thrown in the fire. Ah! Yes! Anyone that has planned to throw in the fire. Woo! The fourth man. Yes! Say the fourth man. The fourth man. Parakoseme. He said, no, me, I dwell in fire. They said the fourth man looked like <laughs> the son of God. The son of man looked like the son of God. He dwells in fire. He abides in fire. Oh, yeah. He's friendly with fire. Yes. And he makes people to become fire. Oh, yeah. And that's what the Bible says. When they were in the room, they locked themselves in the room, wondering what will happen. Fear was all over them. And yet they received the spirit in John chapter 20. Nothing changed. But wait until the fire, which is the baptism of the name. Yes. The name of Jesus. When the name comes, you shall be baptized, you shall be calm, and you shall be on fire. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the name of Jesus is not a title, but it is a location where you should be baptized. Every time you say, in the name of Jesus Christ, your lady is speaking in. So that means there is a particular place you are entering and driving. Oh, yes. And when you say in the name of Jesus, in another word, you are speaking in the characteristic of the likeness of Jesus. I impose. So that means I am like him. And therefore, I impose. Shake your neighbor. Just, just move your neighbor again. Say, neighbor, he's speaking to you. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 can I say something here? So in another one, when he said in Mark chapter 16, verse 16 to 17, he said, go ye to where? In the whole world. Do what? Preach ye the gospel. And then he said, in my name, <laughs> in my name, you shall cast out devil. In another word, can I explain what he mean? He said, in becoming me yeah. 
in another word becoming the Christ because I am baptized in the Christ I am the Christ you are the Christ who is the Christ it's simply the anointed one the anointed one who is the anointed one? The one who covers the spirit inside. I have the spirit in me. And that's why Paul said, we have this treasure in the earthly vessel. Who, 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 who is the treasure? It's the spirit that we are covering. It's the fire that we carry. Because treasure, gold is made out of fire. So that means there is a fire in us that is burning and is covering the treasure and making the treasure to be more expensive all the time. In my name, you shall cast out devils. In my name, you shall heal the sick. In my name, you shall trample up all the serpents and the scorpions and no harm shall come near you. So in another word, there are some places when you enter, you don't need to say in the name of Jesus, I am the manifestation of the name. Oh my God. There are some job interview. You don't need to fast. You don't need to cry. You just enter because I am the name. Yes, sir. Say with me, I am the name. I am the name. I am baptized in the name. I am baptized in the name. So in another word, when you are born of the name of Ngishu, you are in Gishu. Am I right? And everybody that you birth, you will give birth as a son, as a daughter, they will have the name of Gishu. So in another word, when they are born, they are baptized in the name of Gishu. They will have houses in Gishu. All the property of the father of Gishu shall be theirs. When you are baptized in the name of the Christ. The father also sees everything. Everything that he has given to the cross shall be ours. Yes. Shall be yours yes. and shall be mine. Oh, yes. And that's why I can see that in the next few weeks, oh. you shall exhibit the power of the name. Yes. You shall become the name. Yes. The name is fire. Yes. The name is anointed. Oh, yes. The name is powerful. Oh, yes. And there is a covenant yes. that is connected to the name of Jesus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. look at the scandal that is causes in the kingdom of darkness the moment when you are sleeping you are here someone is coming to to hold your neck until you are looking the moment you say in the name of jesus suddenly things breaks out the devil runs now imagine you simply shouted the name how about if you become the name How about when you become the name? That's what the Bible says. You shall lay hands, not pray. You shall lay hands. So that means it is a mistake when you pray for the sick. Hey. Yes! Uh, hey! Oh, 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 oh. It is there. He didn't say pray for the sick. He said you shall lay hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke this sickness. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God is looking at you. You are making a mistake. Become anointed. That's why one touch that you shall touch like this, there is an anointing release out of you. That's what the Bible said. There was a woman with the issues of blood. The Bible said, he did not call on the name, but he touched the name. So that means even the clothes of Jesus was his name. Oh, yes. Hey. Oh. And the Bible said people brought handkerchief and they brought it to Paul bodies. Oh. And the Bible said the moment it touched, Paul did not pray it on the handkerchief. The Bible said it simply touched the body of Paul. And suddenly the Bible said it carried the power. So Paul translated from speaking the name, he has become the name. It is for a long time whereby you have used the name. You have cast it out. You have tried to cast it out. You have tried to pray. Now it is time to become the name. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Oh. Paradakatolamazi.
when you become the name of Jesus in that family, all the sorcerers and the witches are run away. Yes, the Bible says, Arise, O God, yes. let your name be scattered. Yes, and the Bible says, In my name, the righteous run to it and they are safe. Yes, so that means everybody in your family yes. shall be saved because yes. of you becoming the name. Oh, yes. Say the name, yes, say the name. Yes. The Bible said the righteous run to this name because the name of Jesus is a strong tower to the righteous. Oh, yes. So that means you shall be a refuge. You shall be a restful place for men. That's what the Bible says. Even the animal came to Noah because Noah, 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 yes, Noah, yes, you are the Noah in the family. Yes, receive the anointing. I receive, receive the name. I receive Shout the name of Jesus. Jesus. There is power in that name. When you become the name, if, even sickness, when they send them in your home, they say, Hey, that one is the name. We can't because he's already our caster. Oh, yes. So they were baptized in the name. You used to think, baptize me in the Holy Ghost, oh God. Only, only Jesus was baptized in the Holy Ghost. We are baptized in his name. So we can become like him. The Christ. The Christ on the earth. The Christ in Kenya. The crust in Meru. Imagine the crust, they are just walking. How did I know that you are the crust? He said, He are the lights of the world. And himself, he called himself, I am the light of the world. I have baptized you in my name so you can become my name. child of God the Lord said to me to tell you not just to tell you but to drag you now oh yes. from the place of using the name to becoming the name amen I don't like the way you are celebrating my God yes sir listen glory to Jesus when you become the name drunkenness stays away oh yes evil runs away from you yes when you enter in that estate all the demons stand still they say the master's entered <laughs> Woo! Amen. when you become the name you enter like this power floods in the place yes because the bible say where Christ is there is authority yes now watch this the bible say as we are baptized in his name we are no longer in the world the bible say we are seated The Bible says where? In the heavenly places. And then guess what? The Bible says he has received a name that is above all names. At the mention of his name, every niche above. That's what the Bible says we are seated far above. Far above from principalities and power. So that means when principality sees you, they sees the name. Amen. Woo! Are, are you understanding what I mean there? So that's when principality are no longer looking at you down. They are looking at you up. Because of you becoming the name. And the name is not down. The name is highly lifted. Yes, And Lord. that's why I can see elevation coming in this year. There is a prophetic lifting coming in this year. There is a prophetic elevation coming upon us. Yes, the devil can't stop it. Yes. The enemy can't stop it. Yes, there is an elevation. Yes. Someone touch your head with your right hand. Yes. And declare elevation. Elevation. Rock up us. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. It has started. Now as I close,
Just read for me the verse that we started with. John chapter 1, 14. What does he say? And the word became flesh. Apple, apple. Listen, the word is what? A spirit. No one can touch the word, but you can hear it. I know you have serious prophecy on your head. This year, no, it is the one to become flesh. Yes, Lord. Hey. Now, 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 now. You are becoming the accommodation for that word. Yes, Wait. sir. In another word, you are becoming the anointing for that prophetic word. Oh, yes. Someone is getting it. Yes, sir. So, in another word, that prophetic word was waiting for you to become the anointed. Hey. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, someone is understanding now. <laughs> and that's what the bible said when jesus christ entered the synagogue and he opened the book and he said now this scripture has become real yeah. and he read from the book of Isaiah why he said the spirit of the lord is upon me and he has anointed me so another one now this word has become flesh why because i've become the anointing yes sir oh my god ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen you are becoming the anointing yes sir. when you are becoming the anointing oh, yes. every prophetic word in your life yes. shall be made flesh in this year yes, i know you have been prophesied 10 years ago yes. five years ago yes. three years ago yes. but i see by the anointing oh, yes. flesh is coming flesh is coming flesh is coming yes, oh my god But the Bible said, tarry. The power of tarrying in this year. Yes, Lord. Tarry so that the prophetic one shall come. He told me when they change it now, that every prophetic word, everyone that he thinks or she thinks she has a prophetic word up on her head, oh, yes. when they shall be their services. Yes, sir. We are calling flesh over every prophetic word. Oh, yes. <laughs> It is the year of the crust. Oh, yes. Woo! Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah! Yeah! <laughs> Hallelujah! Woo! Hear this. I didn't say crust like the crust. Yes, sir. The Bible did not say the Christ like he called them. He are Christ. <laughs> Can a Christ be bewitched? No. Can a Christ die prematurely? No. Never. Can a Christ beg? Never. You are the safetyness now. Yes, sir. The Bible says, Whomsoever came near Christ received salvation and deliverance. And the Bible says, He went everywhere doing what? So that means money was following Him. Can I yes, prophesy? Sir. Professor. Money shall follow Him. I receive it. Uh, listen, the anointing attracts. Oh, yes. <laughs> he did not struggle. The Bible says, He said, Peter, go to the sea. Get for me money or pay these taxes. If tax people are coming after you this year, oh, yes. the anointing shall stand against. Yes, Lord. The anointing shall provide. Yes, Lord. The anointing shall be. Amen. Provision. I receive it. Abba Mafuta. My God, my daughter, my sons, enough of running after Mara, 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 Mara. You are asking if that boy does not text you one day, you get crazy. No. Yes, sir. You are getting the anointing today. Oh, yes. They are the ones that shall go crazy over your name. Yes, sir. When they sleep, they see your face. Yes. Sir. When they wake up, they can't take breakfast. Yes, sir. Because you have entered. Yes, sir. Hey. Ah. Ah. 
Yeso. Yeso. Hear me. My son, when I was in my retreat time of prayer, my son came to my place. And he came and showed me a testimony. He said, Papa, by this anointing impacted me, oh, my whole family you know, is, is scared of me. I call my sister is 64 years. 64 is there. He's 64, 64, not 15, not 24, not 30, not 40, not 50, 64. Someone from France came to marry her. You, you are simply 49. You, you are simply 50. Yes. And you are saying you are done. Yes. I declare. Yes. Let the anointing come up on you. Yes. Shout anointing. Yes. Hey, anointing. Hey. Hey. I call her. I say, Caesar, no. is it true? He said, Mama, yeah. This God of yours, oh, I don't know. He's even marrying 64 years people. Yes. So many of you, 64, you are thinking you are going to the grave. Yes. I extend your time. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Ah, I prophesy over this holy altar. Yes, Lord. I extend your time. Yes, Lord. I extend your time. Yes, Lord. Now, someone from France. With all the property, he, 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 let me say it properly. The God did not come empty handed. Hey. When I'm telling you, anointing attacks, oh, attacks. The guy came with a key for a house already set. He didn't keep it to himself, he came to give it to a 64 years woman, old woman. 64. What is there? The anointing. You, you are simply 35. And that man cannot look at you anymore. <laughs> you are simply 40. And men are bypassing you like there is a bus is running on you. <laughs> there is an anointing that has to come. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Can I prophesy? Professor. There is an anointing in the year 2024. Yes, sir. That shall empower you. Yes. Yes. Now he's telling me, Papa, we are going for dowry. I will receive testimony like that in this year. Yes, sir. Shout dowries. Dowries. Woo. I like it in Swahili. You call it what in Swahili? Marari. Mahari. No, no, no. I like, I like or, or, or Roche or something like Roche. 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 Tuna. Tuna. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Roche. Tuna. Tuna.
not meant to become blind. Oh. He's not looking at your age. He's not looking at your countenance. Yes, sir. He just wants to favor you. Yes, Lord. I receive it. Hey. There's my son, Kade. How many knows him? Kade. Yes, sir. Kade came here. He was in China. Kade was having money in China. Those who know him, he was a big guy in China. But Kindoki, Kindoki in Kongi means sorcery. Brought him out of China and brought him law. He came to give me a testimony. He said, Papa, I went to some churches. He called him churches. God forgive me. Anyway. He said, I've tried. But the moment I entered here, I knew this is my place of my deliverance. Oh, yes. I took oil one day, this anointing. I poured it on him. I said, You are revived. He came here with his girlfriend. He was by then girlfriend. And I prophesied to the girlfriend, who is now the wife. And I said, Girlfriend, through you, oh yes, you will take this man to Germany. Hey, both of them they were here in Kenya struggling. Uh -huh. After the prophecy, yes, sir. the woman got a job in Germany. Now, hear this all the sorcerers of Congo came together. They say, Your God can go, but you will stay. I looked at him, he came in my office crying, Papa, Papa, I'm missing my girl, I'm missing my girl. I'm missing my car. You know, Congolese, you know, I'm missing my car. And the girl also is missing the man. I looked at him. I said, Son, you are going. Oh, yes. I know this oil. I don't care who is the king of your family, but there is a king of kings. Yes, sir. Hey. He's the only man whereby the embassy dropped the passport in his house with a visa. May people brought oh, uh, uh, yes, sir. may passport come in your house. Visa be delivered in your house. Yes, sir. Hey. They called him in the morning. He said, Papa, they woke me in the morning. They told me, Are you Mr. So and so? He said, Yes, what's it? He said, No, we have a delivery for you from the embassy of Germany. Yes, sir. Hey. For your trouble, you shall have that ball of blessings. I receive it. Shout with me the name. Name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I am becoming it. I am becoming every it. prophetic word upon your head. Yes, Lord. Today, yes, sir. As we are now going to enter, oh yes, it shall come to pass. Yes, over sir. your husband. Yes, Lord. over your wife. Yes, Lord. over your children. Amen. Over yourself. Amen. Let that prophetic word. Oh yes, you are just saying Amina Leo. Woo. Let that word come to me. Yes, Lord. Let that anointing that makes the word get, get to be flesh. Yes, Lord. Let it get 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 flesh. Yes, Lord. Are you ready to intercede with me? Oh yes. You are not going to struggle to pray too much. No, no, no. I am the one giving you by oh, His yes. grace. By his grace, yes, sir. That he has deposited today upon my life. Oh, yeah. After you demanding to him, mm. he shall cause that which he has deposited in me oh, yeah. to land upon you right now. Yes, sir. The Bible said they looked at that crippled man. He said, From now, you are rising from the place where you have been sitting. As you have looked at today at the Lord today, yes, Lord. as you have heard the word of God today, yes, Lord. there is an anointing that is coming upon you. I receive that. Listen to me, sorrow is departing out of your life, yes, Lord. complication is leaving your life, Amen. any delay is coming out, Amen. any cars are getting broken. Amen. There is a resurrection, yes, Lord. there is a visitation. I as you under the sound of my voice, yes, Lord. lift your hands and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Now, you have really prayed, and God has heard your prayer. Amen. And the word became flesh. 
this is your year of exploit. I receive it. The same way Jesus accomplished divine accomplishments. Oh, yes. By him being anointed. Yes. There shall be divine accomplishments. Yes, Lord. Because you shall be anointed. Amen. You shall do divine accomplishment. Yes, Lord. The Spirit just said, I am the Lord, I am my word. I am not disconnected from my word, I am my word. What I said is what shall be. Yes, Lord. Bible says, give men the speaking of tongues as gifts. And they give to some the gift of interpretations. The Spirit has spoken. Now it's time for reality. It's time for fulfillment. Yes. I say divine accomplishment shall happen this year. I receive it. Yes, Lord. Amen. Because we are anointed, yes, Lord, there shall be exploits, amen, divine accomplishments, yes, Lord, in every aspect of our life, yes, Lord. and the word became flesh. Two things exploits and 